submucous fibrosis submucous fibrosis is a chronic insidious process uh, which often lay found in the 20 to 40 years of old age uh, adults um, that are often present with the burning sensation uh, in the mouth sourceness of the mouth whenever they uh, got to eat uh, particularly pungent spicy type of food so this is a clinical condition this is a clinical condition that is characterized by the juxta epithelial deposition of the fibrous tissue in the oral cavity and the pharynx uh, throughout the predisposing condition most of the cases may due to the uh, chewing of the erica nuts so in this video i will tell you about the etiological factors that uh, contribute in the formation of the submucous fibrosis so number one number one number one etiological factor that is involved in the submucous fibrosis is the areca nets most of the cases may areca nets are chewed alone with tobacco or in the form of pan containing lime catechu and other ingredients on the betel leaf so areca nets involved in the etiological factors basically in areca nets there is a air choline a uh, uh, central ingredient in the areca nuts that are, is involved in the formation of the submucous fibrosis uh, it interfere, interferes with the deposition and the degradation of the extracellular matrix in the oral cavity that ultimately result in the fibrosis next one is the tobacco chewing tobacco chewing also an important uh, etiological factor that contribute to the submucosis or the oral submucosal fibrosis Mm, with the tobacco chewing is a risk major risk factor when it is uh, uh, cheered with along with erica nets the increase of the risk of the submucosal fibrosis increases many times next one is the alcohol uh, it is observed that drinking increases of the alcohol with erica nets and other uh, causing factors increases twofold of the formation of the oral submucous fibrosis. This condition is firstly described in the India by Joshi in 1943. 19, I'm sorry, 1953. This uh, disease is widely seen in the Asian countries, uh, for example, India, Pakistan, Taiwan, Sri Lanka, uh, due to the habit of betel nut chewing. So next one, socio-economical status. Socio-economical status also contribute to the uh, submucous fibrosis. Socio-economic status. Low socio-economic status have been associated with the high risk of the uh, submucous fibrosis um, because in so low socio-economic status there are more predisposing causes. Uh, such as leukoplakia, erythroplakia, and this causes uh, in have great contribution in the formation of the oral uh, submucous fibrosis. As there is um, lack of education, diet, proper or balanced diet, and mechanical and uh, medical care in the uh, poor socioeconomic uh, families. So, whenever they got uh, uh, such difficulties or deficiencies uh, there is increased risk of the submucous fibrosis number next is nutritional nutritional factor also contribute in the formation of submucous fibrosis as uh, whenever there is deficiency of vitamins or micronutrients mm, and, and as well as low intake of fruits and vegetables this is associated with the oral pre-malignant lesions that ultimately result in the formation of submucous fibrosis. So these are the etiological factors that are involved in the submucous fibrosis.